There's a lot of ways to make money online, some easier than others, but I don't think that there's an easier way out there than becoming a guru, someone who teaches other people how to make money online. You don't have to be rich yourself, you don't have to be an expert, you really don't have to know how to do anything except convince people that you know what you're talking about. Today I'm gonna be watching a bunch of guru TikToks from gurus who claim to have cracked the code on how to make easy money online. Just like last time I wanted to go into this blind so I actually haven't seen any of these TikToks before, I had my elite council of content come up with it, which is just one guy, his name is Robert. And it looks like the first one on the list here is titled Stealing Content Guru. So this should be a pretty lucrative way to make money fast. In the life of a $20,000 a month TikTok clipper, first thing I do when I get into my office is write down my daily goal. Oh my god, so much to unpack right off the bat. A day in the life of a $20,000 a month TikTok clipper. So he gets you intrigued right away. This, this person is making $20,000 a month, which is a great living, by doing something called TikTok clipping. Now to the lay person, this might just sound like, oh, he's a TikToker, he makes little clips, and he puts them on TikTok. Since I know that this TikTok is about stealing content, I have a feeling that this dude is not posting his own content on TikTok and is somehow making $20,000 from it. First thing I do when I get into my office is write down my daily goals. Today I wanted to get a million views in a day and make at least $500. Those are crazy goals. I want to get a million views in a day and make at least $500. They're crazy not just because they're like lofty goals. I'm sure there's enough content out there that he can steal to meet those goals. That doesn't seem like that hard, I guess. It's just kind of wild to me that that's how this person thinks about their social media business. Like when I'm sitting down to do work for the day, since I am also an influencer, the first thing I write down isn't like how many views I'm trying to get that day or how much money I want to make that day. If anything, it seems like you should be at least focusing on how many videos you're going to make that day or like what kind of creative decisions you're making that day. It almost seems like you're reverse engineering what a content creator actually does. He's like content creators make money from doing content creation. So that must be the first thing they think about when they are making a video. Video. It must be really interesting to like watch any art with this person like you go to a concert and you're really enjoying the music It's just like your favorite artist and this dude is next to you and he's like man This is crazy. He must have written down He wanted to make a lot of money today And then he just sort of made all of this happen to facilitate that goal but I go and sit at my desk pull my phone out and get ready to start my shit I sit down at my desk with two gigantic screens a maxed out PC and I get ready to do some work man so I pull out my phone and I get on TikTok. First thing I do is go and search for popular YouTubers to screen record. Then I go and screen record GTA gameplay to film the cars rolling down the hill. You don't even do your own gameplay? I always assumed, I don't know why, that whoever is clipping these is like actually playing the game. And so, you know, whoever's posting these clips is sure they're a faceless entity that is just stealing other people's content. But at least you get to know them a little bit in terms of what games they like or how good they are at these games. But no, he's just stealing that from YouTube too. Those are also just clips. Then I open up up cap cut and start a new project so the rest of it just a tutorial on how to edit two videos together so you can put yeah putting one video at the top of the screen and one at the bottom this is super valuable stuff i can see why you get paid the big bucks one of my videos last month made me one thousand two hundred dollars from one video that's a funny way you phrased it one of my videos earned me twelve hundred dollars the way i would have phrased it is two other people's videos made you twelve hundred dollars but i guess everybody has their own interpretation of these sorts of things okay it looks like reader added some context they thought people might want to know. Portrayed in this video is intellectual property theft. It is a legal under World Intellectual Property Organization treaty. This treaty applies to Twitter slash X through Digital Millennium Copyright Act and TikTok through patent law of the People's Republic of China. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you pretty much took him to task. I think that's everything I would have said as well. Why does this guy have an office? He says the first thing he does is he goes to the office. First thing I do when I get into my office. Like, this is like a gigantic studio. He's got a desk. It looks like like there's multiple do multiple people work here everything you did in this video you could have done without leaving your bed that's the crazy part and you're spending like thousands of dollars in rent on this studio okay so it looks like he was getting a lot of flack for this tweet so he posted another tweet in response and said if any youtubers would like to debate the topic of ethical clipping dm me i genuinely believe it is a win-win in every regard and completely ethical from all angles look i mean i don't have any problem with really with people posting like clips of my 
my YouTube videos on TikTok and stuff. I am kind of under the impression that nobody's really like making a ton of money posting my clips on TikTok. I don't think there's like a Danny Gonzalez TikTok industrial complex. I don't know. Maybe this guy is, is doing that to me as we speak. I have no idea. He could be in the office right now cooking something up. So doing it as like a fan or as a hobby is like seems totally fine to me. It's just when you're when you start making money and especially when you start bragging about how much money you're making. Does it seem like a super shady thing to do? Algorithm specialist. Oh yeah, he works with a lot of Rumble creators. Very cool. Algorithm specialist is a crazy title for someone who creates zero original content. He's like, yeah, I sort of know what works on TikTok. It's all the same stuff that works on YouTube. Okay, so this one looks to be another TikTok about stealing content. Let's see. You make money on TikTok if you're broke. And by broke, I mean you have a lot of time, but not a lot of cash. That's a funny definition of broke. You have a lot of time. I'm just picturing like a single dad getting home from his second shift of the day. He's just barely scraping by, barely paying that mortgage. He clicks on this video for some quick tips on how to make some extra cash. He's like, I'm broke. And this video is like, no, you're not. You do not have enough free time. Sorry. Find a different guru, dude. This is not for you, Ru. Start watching TikTok and you're going to find the most viral videos or videos with a lot of views. And you're going to change it a little bit. You're going to make it better. Make it better? What does that mean? Change it a little bit. You're going to make it better. It's better because it was changed a little bit. And by changing a little bit, I mean I took it from that TikTok profile and I put it on mine. And you're going to change it a little bit. You're going to make it better. And then Sounds like he cut something out of that. Like he was going to explain how to make it better. And then while he was editing, he was like, ah, they probably they know all that already. They have a lot of free time. They'll be able to figure that out. Then you're going to re-upload it to your account. Oh, to my account. So that's how I make money. You're always going to want to tag the original creator, though. Someone says, what if I don't tag the original creator? This person is debating being a piece of shit. I just thought of this really interesting idea. What if I made it seem like the video was mine the whole time? This guy says nothing happens. What are they going to do? So it seems like the people in this comment section are actually really into this. I think I'm going to try this. I have time, but not a lot, LOL. Mm. No, sorry, man. This one's not for you. You're gonna need to find a different side hustle, man. Sorry. Maybe this next one will work. If you want to be a millionaire next month, this is the way to do it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Now this is a great way to get someone's attention. I'm like half expecting one of these TikToks to be someone like straight up teaching you how to like rob people. If you want to be a millionaire next month, this is the way to do it. Put on a ski mask, get a gun, go to the bank. Either that or he's gonna be like, stand on the sidewalk of a busy street and wait for a government owned car to drive by. Jump in front of the car and then sue the city. The camera pans out and he's in a hospital bed. I just did this. And it worked great. We can put up a deep fake video of Denzel Washington promoting a dating site. Denzel Washington saying, hey, this is the best dating site. You should go to, go to this dating site. That's it? That's how you make nine... That's how I become a millionaire next month. You see, this will get you sued by Denzel Washington for millions of dollars, thus making you a millionaire in the negatives, but still, that's pretty impressive. So I guess we've moved on from like stealing people's content to stealing their faces. These gurus are so innovative in ways that I will never really fully be able to comprehend. This is crazy. I mean, this is just one small notch away from being a full on like telemarketer scam or something. You know, those like giant scamming operations that operate out of like India and stuff where they scam old people out of money. This is just barely not that. And to be honest, I wouldn't put it past this guy to be running something like that because this is the scam he's willing to share with people. This is the one he's willing to be like, yeah, do this. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, it looks like we might finally have one that's not like explicitly stealing. This one is just how I made money as a kid. So this is like how this dude got into the grind set mind, mind stop, mind Set. This is how this guy got into the grind style mind style. My dad bring me to Bass Pro Shops. I bought those Bass Pro Shop hats that, you know, everyone wears now. I got them for $4 and then I brought them to school with me. I took one of the hats. I gave it to the most popular kid in school and all of a sudden everybody wants this hat. So I would go over to their lunch group, pull out my backpack and just have 10 Bass Pro Shop hats on me that I bought for four bucks. And I'm like, hey, you want to look like Daniel? Buy them for 12 bucks. Honestly, it is actually kind of smart. I mean, he's, you know, he's a young businessman. What can you do? He sort of propped Daniel up as this iconic influencer in his own school. Gave him a free product, which made everyone else want to buy it, and so then he sold it to them. It is, it's pretty smart. Brands do this all the time. They send influencers free stuff because they hope that they'll talk about it and then get more sales. I do kind of wonder how the conversation with the this kid Daniel went, who you gave the brass pro shop hat to. Put this on. Don't ask any questions. Wear it. Uh, 
Okay, what? Why? Why are you giving me a free hat? It's not important, man! Come on! I need to support my family! He wears the Bass Pro Shop hat for one day, and the next day he comes to school and everybody's wearing the Bass Pro Shop hat, and he never finds out why. That'd be so scary. This guy kind of reminds me of the, the Dr. Seuss book Starbelly Sneeches. The Sneeches? This guy's like a Sylvester McMonkey McBean of his time. I've been reading a lot of kids books lately, so a lot of my commentary from now on might be sort of referential towards <laughs> Dr. Seuss media. But he is the Sylvester McMonkey McBean of his time. Just imagine that these sneeches, when they come out of the machine, have Bass Pro Shop hats upon theirs. Okay, Robert has listed this one as the Don't Use the Microwave Guru. Is this gonna be about how to get rich? The microwave is making you poor. It says Luke Belmar steps to be rich, so I'm very curious how this is going to, how this anti microwave Microwave propaganda is gonna make me rich, but let's see. One, go get spring water. Don't drink Dasani purified water. It's gonna fuck you up. It's gonna fuck you up? Dasani? It's gonna fuck you up. I do believe that spring water does have some benefits. It has electrolytes and minerals naturally in it, from what I've heard. But I don't... I don't think Dasani's gonna fuck you up. I mean, like, what does that even mean? When people say this is gonna fuck you up, they're usually talking about, like, alcohol. I'll tell you, man, the last time I had a shot of Dasani, the whole next day, dude, I was on the ground just moaning and dying. I died. Start eating super clean, super organic. Understand that the food that you consume has pesticides, has chemicals. Okay, then how is this gonna make me rich? I mean, this is health advice, and I'm not a health expert, you know? Maybe I'm sure that organic food is good for you to not have pesticides in it. That's great. If you have an air fryer, don't use a microwave. Microwave, you're literally cooking your food. Yeah, you are. That's crazy. Don't use the microwave. It literally cooks your food. I was gonna go to town on a pound of raw ground beef, and I put it in the microwave to get it ready. And the next thing I know, it was cooked. Killing all the all the all the good stuff in there, all the vitamins, all the minerals. Yeah, you're killing all the vitamins in there. All those living organisms that are vitamins <laughs> are unfortunately passing away in the microwave. Is that true? Does does the microwave make food less nutritious? According to two reviews, microwaving does not reduce nutrient value more than other cooking methods. Okay, but does it cook your food? Because that is sort of a deal breaker for me. Items cooked in a microwave lost far less nutrients than other cooking methods. However, when water was added to the mix, uh -oh. nutrient loss skyrocketed. Yeah, well, probably because it was Dasani. Even if this were legitimate health advice, this is not how to get rich advice. That's the confusing part to me. There is an argument to be made that like when you're in your best mindset and your body body's healthy, you can do the best work. But like, there are plenty of unhealthy people that are rich. There are billionaires that look like shit. <laughs> like, there's no way that every rich person is like a fit, athletic god of a man like the one we see before us. It kind of just seems like this guy has a certain lifestyle and he wants everybody to have his lifestyle also. And so he's saying that it will make you rich. Like, he just really wishes people would stop drinking tap water and he's like, I'll pay you a million dollars. Pour out your Coca-Cola. I'll pay you a dollar, pay you a million dollars. Neglect uh, celebrities. Don't give a f celebrities. They're just dirt. Huh? Yeah, this guy has 200,000 followers on TikTok, dude. You kind of are a micro celebrity. And last but not least, do not listen to anything I just said. I am a celebrity. I don't know shit. Nothing I just said will make you rich. It might just make you a little bit healthier, except for the microwave thing. That thing just was not true at all. Just seemed like bad advice, especially the celebrity thing. If I neglect celebrities, how am I supposed to become a millionaire next month? I need to use one of their likenesses. This TikTok account generates over 47K a month in revenue using AI. Use ChatGPT and ask it this prompt. Create a one minute TikTok video script about Filipino facts. Does it have to be about Filipino facts? Two ways to make money on TikTok, guys. You have to steal other people's content or you have you do have to do Filipino fact videos. Um, th those are the only two types of content that work. And the stolen content, the one, the stuff that is guaranteed to do well, that is also Filipino fact content. It's just, the, that's just the only thing that does well on TikTok. Something wrong with their algorithm. Maybe I should title this video interesting Filipino facts, actually, now that I think about it. Does it seem like that would get people interested. This TikTok account generates over 47k a month. Hey, wait a minute. The 47k is not US currency. What is that symbol? Filipino dollar? Okay, what is 47k in Philippine peso in the US dollar. Whoa! Oh wait, no, this is the other way around. Two I was like, whoa, he was way underselling it. Did it make it two million dollars a month? Okay, hold on, I gotta reverse it. Oh, okay, $800. That's tricky, dude, that's sneaky. You know what, this whole thing, this whole experience was kind of an interesting Filipino fact in itself. 
So I think this video is going to do really well, I guess is what I'm saying. If you're someone who's looking to make money online, I would recommend checking out the influencer Tuzer. I've never met this guy. I've never spoken to him. I've never met this guy. I've never spoken to him. I am definitely not him in a mask. I just think he's the smartest person on the face of the planet. Oh, we got a Grant Cardone clip. All right. This dude is like a notorious uh, hustle culture slash scammer slash Scientologist. So I'm really curious to see how he would have us make money. Who would give me a hundred dollars right now? Please just walk up here and give me a hundred then. I don't really need to be any done. I'm just going to pull it back. It's a hundred. Two fifties. My man. He just asked for money and people run up to give him money. There you go. There you go. Who are these people? Is he going to do something for them or what? No, he's just saying thank you and he's letting them go back to sit down. Is this guy like a human wishing well? Why? What? Play now. Thank you. Okay. No more. No more. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank no you. more. No more. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay, did I build value? I don't think you did, man. I'm gonna give all this money to charity, by the way, okay? You should give it back to the people who gave it to you. Now, this TikTok, we kind of learn a lot from. It ends with, how can you make $1,600 right now? And it, it really inspired me. And yeah, I honestly think that this is a great method to try. Who's gonna give me $100? Excuse me, who's gonna give me $100? Don't know if you can hear that, but my son just started crying in the other room. I don't think he's gonna give me $100. I do hesitate to make videos like this sometimes because I do know that I'm in a really privileged position and I make a really good living from what I do. Like disparaging people just trying to get by and make a few extra bucks with a side hustle is not at all what I'm trying to do. If you're trying to build a better life for yourself and your family, there's of course nothing wrong with that, especially if you're being ethical. It would be hypocritical of me to <laughs> say that like any type of trying to make money online is cringe because I. I'm very clearly interested in that. Just, you know, don't scam people. That's all. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to make money without scamming people. There's gotta be at least one, so. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, bye bye